Dick Rochford here. We're looking at the vertical profile. I see we're in miles. That's maybe why. That's looking at to 40. See if that doesn't look a little more normal. Yes, it does. So that's rain showers down low. We've, we've got uh, low clouds here. Uh, and uh, we are, in fact, paying uh, attention. 277. Uh, expect, it looks like you expect no delay, but I'm going to put you to, over uh, the terrain the gallop, as well. Uh, Eagle 6 routing, uh -huh. uh, let me know when you're ready to copy. But uh, terrain and Nexrad are mutually exclusive, so we have to pick, yeah, six, pick our poison. Seven, could a Phoenix Tower via Gallup, the Salt Uniform Papa, and then the Eagle 6 and arrival. There will be, s the there will be some, zero. Uh, potentially some light ice in them. here. Uh, but our SIP FIP vertical profile showed us that there wouldn't be any at 17,000. Actually, yes, indeed, open that, yep. Alternate air. And uh, 629 or Sierra Tango, contact number center 119.85. 119.85, Niner Sierra Tango. Yeah, 5496, contact us on approach 1. Denver Center, Malibu 629 or Sierra Tango, 17000. So this answers. Number 629 or Sierra Tango, Denver Center, Roger, Aspen, altimeter 3043. 3043, Niner Sierra Tango. Yes, this answers the question, approach will we be in the clouds? And I know you were eager to ask that question when we were doing the weather briefing, but remember, clouds aren't, aren't the threat, uh, other than losing control of the airplane because you can't see the horizon, but uh, that's certainly not a PA-46 pilot's problem. What we're concerned about is airframe ice and uh, rain showers at thunderstorms. And we have all of those things going here today. I believe we've been careful enough to pick a low enough altitude that we don't pick up any ice. According to the SIPFIP, which, again, that's also a six-hour smear, and it uh, gets updated. Uh, my experience is it's very conservative, and so if you apply the rule that you're never... I, I don't know why you're fiddling. I, you're making me nervous. We're in the mountains. I don't want you fiddling. Sorry, our, our fuel flow went low. How so? It was down to 21, so I was trying to get it back to 21.5. Okay. All right. So now it's okay. Don't fiddle. Okay. That's very important. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the, the, the idea here is to um, mitigate the risk, and the risks today are for airframe ice, rain showers, and thunderstorms. We're doing that. We use the SIP FIP, the current icing potential slash forecast icing potential uh, in the vertical profile to determine the altitude that we're going to fly at. And uh, above 17, there's uh, uh, reports and forecasts, I should say, for moderate ice. We can stand light ice, but we can't stand moderate ice. Uh, moderate for us, for any airplane, means that uh, we're having to constantly operate the equipment in order to keep the aircraft ice-free. This is no place to be in a single engine, small airplane, but all you have left to do to maintain the control is to push the power up. Uh, that's just... Uh, Frontier flight 4990, descend and maintain flight level 250. Once we get to moderate, then we're uh, allowing ice to build in unprotected areas. That means we'll be losing airspeed. United 8181, Denver Center, Roger, climb and maintain flight level 260. That will be totally unacceptable. We're in and out of the clouds. Bases are right about here at 17 with us now. And uh, we have light rain showers and, uh, you know, widely separated uh, thunderstorms. But those are quieting down this time. Uh, we're down to uh, 6, 7.30 p.m. here now, so not all done with that. Yeah, but your flight 4990, we're direct ski this time. We've computed a vertical speed based on the initial approach fix for the uh, the arrival for the approach, and uh, it's telling us we got uh, uh, some time left, 24 minutes.
the top of descent. We've selected 500 feet a minute because that's a nice, easy range, which will keep us uh, from getting too fast, particularly in this bumpy air. Rochford, fly safely. Train often.